movies, you've seen Spider-Man perform some incredible moves that you've never been able to do in a Spider-Man game before. That's where the web rush comes in. When you're in Manhattan in the open world, you can press the web rush button and have a variety of navigational choices in front of you. And as soon as you pick one and release the button, Spider-Man will actually not simply go there, he will actually use his environment to go there in an incredible acrobatic fashion that you used to see only in the movies. Suddenly you're going down the street, you're flipping off of telephone poles, you're jumping off of lights on, on street intersections, you're bouncing off of cars, running on the walls of buildings, and suddenly ending up on some rooftop pose in a traditional Spider-Man pose. That button is the essence of being Spider-Man. Any time in the game, you press that button and you have your options. This is a system which lets you actually, on the fly, slow down time, simulating your spider sense as, as a superhero. I see a dumpster in the background. Can I web myself over to it, grab it, throw it into the air, and then smash it down on top of the group all at once? You press that button and boom. Now you are in the shadow, they don't see you anymore, and you can wall crawl in a different position. Each move, each action, each hit that you're doing in the game will, will be in the same flavor as this new agile character from the movie. 